everyone, welcome to Real Yoga. I'm Hannah, and today we're doing a practice yoga in transit. So this one is excellent if you're in a plane, train, or automobile. It goes without saying that if you are driving said plane, train, or automobile, this is not for you, this is passengers only. So, and of course you don't even need to be in transit in a vehicle of some description. You can just be at home, grab yourself a chair, it's totally fine. And I'd like to think that when you travel a long distance that you're wearing really comfy clothes. So that goes without saying. So get whatever you need and I'll meet you on your travels. All right, traveling the yogis, let's get started. So if, especially if you're on a plane, generally you have very confined space to move, also if you're in a car. So we're gonna just start with a stretch of any description. So you might need to get pretty creative here. It might be nice to grab opposite elbows and just sort of reach your elbows to the sky. So to sort of just take any movements here that feel super nice in your body. If you can reach your roof, maybe you press into the roof of whatever you're in. So get a little creative. You might even just interlace your fingers and reach them forward. Try not to annoy whoever is in front of you. So just take just a little bit of movement here that feels really excellent. Whatever you can sort of manage to muster up. Nice. And then when you're done, bring your hands back onto your lap. Beautiful. We're going to start here with some gentle neck stretches. So draw your chin down to your chest. Give yourself a very attractive double chin. And then start to roll your left ear towards your left shoulder. Nice. Can you try and get heavy in your right shoulder, your right elbow? Feel as though there's a little weight attached to the bottom of your right elbow and that draws that right arm down. Nice, breathe deeply here. Also notice if you've collapsed in your body, can you sit up a little taller and try to kind of create this length in the spine from your abdominal area? So can you draw your low belly in and slightly up? Nice, we'll take one more breath in here. And as you exhale, roll your chin down through center and then right ear to your right shoulder. Nice, you can keep your gaze soft or close your eyes here. And again, bring that little weight to your left elbow so that your left arm gets really heavy. And breathe deeply into the left side of your neck. So often our necks get pretty sore when we're on long haul trips. I mean, if you're like me, your neck's sore all the time, so it's no biggie. <laughs> Couple more breaths here. Again, notice if you collapse in your spine, use your abdominal muscles to draw yourself up a little taller. Nice, one more breath here. And then exhale, roll your chin down to center. On an inhale, we're gonna lift our chin to the sky, look up, and then exhale to look back down. Nice, that's the movement. Inhale, look up, and exhale, lower your chin to your chest. One more like that. Inhale, go slow so you're not cracking your neck too much, and exhale to lower. Beautiful, bring your chin back to neutral, and then start to look, this time we're going to go left and right, so start to look over your left shoulder, come back to center, and over the right shoulder. Nice. Again, maintain that length in the spine. See if you can keep your nose and your chin at the same level the whole time. So imagine you're painting these straight lines with the tip of your nose and the tip of your chin. One more to the left. Nice. And one more to the right. Beautiful. Come back to center. And we're just very finally, we're going to take a couple of circles using our whole neck movement. So again, find that little pencil attached to the tip of your nose and start to draw a big circle looking all the way up. Go nice and slow. And then draw that circle all the way down. And then bring it back around. When you hit the top, other direction. So start to move your circle the opposite way, whichever way you didn't go the first time, nice and slow, come all the way back, and then slowly drawing your neck back to neutral. Nice. All right, here, let's back into the shoulders a little. So give your shoulders a couple of rotations in one direction. Nice, and the other direction. 
Beautiful. All right. From here, take your hands to your knees. If you have armrests, that can also work. You can grab a hold of your armrest. And we're gonna move through cat-cow, that's seated. So as you inhale, really grab a hold of your knees and feel as though you wanna pull your chest forward and through. So really arch your back here, maybe lift your chin again slightly. And then as you exhale, press into your thighs, start to draw your belly in strongly. Maybe you feel your back body press against the back of your chair. Inhale, open through the front of your body, squeeze your shoulder blades together, draw your elbows back, and then exhale opposite direction, belly draws in, chin to chest. Nice, a couple more rounds like this, inhaling, really stretching through the front body, squeezing your shoulders together, stretching the front of your throat, and exhale, really kind of drawing everything towards the midline, push your shoulder blades forward. One more like that, inhale to open, and exhale. Inhale, round it through. Nice. Inhale, bring yourself back to center. Okay, from here, watch out for any people behind you. You might need to kind of work around it a little. And just let them know that you're a yogi and hopefully they'll let you get away with it. <laughs> Take your right arm out to the side and flip your palm behind you, or however side how much side action you have. And then we're going to take the back of the hand to your back body. So I might scooch around here just to show you. So your hand can either be resting at your lower back, or if you have the capacity, maybe you can wiggle the back of your hand in between your shoulder blades. So either version of that works. <laughs> Take whatever you need. And then we're just gonna sit here like this for a couple of beats. Again, sort of draw up from your belly to find this length through your spine. And sit up nice and tall. Can you roll your shoulders back and feel as though your shoulder blades squeeze together? Nice. Elbows hug towards the body, both of them. Beautiful. And then again, here if it feels good or if you're bored, maybe you kind of take a few more movements with your head and neck. Whatever feels good. Nice. One more breath in here. And out. <sighs> Lovely. Maybe lean forward to release your hand. And then again, give that shoulder a little, ooh, a little shake. Great. All right. Excuse me, person next to me. <laughs> Reach your left arm to the side. Flip your hand behind you. And then wiggle it up to wherever it's going to go. Ooh, my shoulder just did an epic click. Maybe yours did too. All good. So Wiggle your arm, your back of your left hand up, so wherever it feels good, and maybe that's your lower back, and that's totally fine. And then once you're there, maybe you lean back a little into your chair, and then again, feel this lift up from your, sort of this mula bandha area, we call it in yoga. That's the part your mama gave you. All right, shoulders back, sit up tall. Oh, deep breaths here, it's a big opening for your shoulder. Nice. Couple more breaths. Again, feel free to take any movements with the head and neck. That feels super nice for you today. Beautiful. One more deep inhale. And a long exhale. So lean forward to release your hand. Nice. Give it a little shake. All right. And now this is the part where the passengers next to you are really going to think you're a crazy yogi. So you can feel free to skip it. If you're in the car with someone you know, then they already know you're a crazy yogi, so it's all good. All right, so from your chair, see if you can squeeze your right knee in towards your chest and maybe use the base of your chair as well here. So give it a nice squeeze. And maybe this is enough for you. It's already this really nice stretch for your hip. It's getting a little bit of movement in the legs that they maybe haven't had for a while. So you're welcome to stay here. If you want to level it up, grab a hold of your right foot with your left hand and see if you can sort of cradle your leg towards your chest. So you're a little bit of a leg baby here. If you're in a very confined space and your hips will allow it, you can even take your right foot into the elbow crease of your left hand and then kind of really cradle your leg like a little leg baby. 
keep these right toes super, super flexed. I've kept my socks on because anytime I travel, I always sink my socks on. And side note, these are from Iceland, so I thought that was appropriate. <laughs> Sit up nice and tall if you can. If you're sort of squished in your chair, it's okay. See if you can just engage your belly. That's, that should be enough. And then maybe this is enough for you. You look super nice stretch through your hip, something that they probably haven't received in a while if you've been in transit for a few hours already. And then here, if it feels nice, you can start to take just gentle rocking movements from side to side. So just find whatever you know you need here. You obviously won't be able to go super far. Try not to kind of fling your leg into other people's faces. It's really not good travel etiquette. As it's kicking the back of people's chairs. <laughs> nice. We'll stay here for just a couple beats more. Everyone's probably looking at you weird. Maybe they're taking video footage to put later on the internet. It's all good. <laughs> All right, and then slowly grab a hold of your foot again, hug it back in towards your chest, maybe give your knee a little smooch, say thanks, and then place your leg back down. All right, now the people around you know that you're totally nuts, so whatever, <laughs> let's do the other side. So squeeze your left knee towards you, if you can, if it's available to you, give it a little hug. And of course, you're welcome to sort of stay here, it's totally fine. Or if you like, you can grab a hold of your left foot with your right hand and draw your leg towards your body for a number of reasons. One, that's what we need to do anyway. Two, try and keep your leg away from other passengers. Okay, so you can either cradle your leg like this, keep sitting up nice and tall, totally fine. Or another option is to bring your left foot down to your right elbow crease and really kind of find this leg baby, if you will, Sit, sit, up, sit up nice and tall and you're welcome to stay here or find again just a little bit of rocking movement from side to side. So I actually have been on a really big road trip recently so this like feels really ooh, owie. Remember to keep your toes super super flexed here. So just a little bit of movement if it feels good. If you just are back in that position one, squeezing your knee towards your chest, it's totally fine. If there's any other stuff that you feel that you can manage in the confines of your chair, I always, like if you sit behind me, you'll see my foot go up into the <laughs> roof all the time. Maybe I don't recommend doing that, but eh, whatever. Cool, we'll stay here for a couple of beats. Nice. And then release your foot, gently place it back down, give your knee another squeeze into your chest. Mwah. And thanks for playing smooch. And then send your foot back down again. Beautiful. Oh, all right. Let's do one more round of that cat cow. So inhale to open through the front of your chest. A lot of click pop. And then exhale around it through chin to chest. Draw your belly in. Nice. Inhale to come back to center. Beautiful. Last thing here. Either grab a hold of your armrests or maybe you just sort of place your hands underneath your booty. And then here we're just going to really open our chest and can you start to lean your head back in towards the headrest if you've got one and keep pulling your chest forward squeezing your shoulder blades together so a nice back bend to finish it off beautiful one more breath in here can you lift your chest a little higher and then exhale slowly draw your chin to chest and roll yourself back to center. We won't, we won't adopt the brace position. Let's hope that you never have to. <laughs> All right, from here, do any other movements that feel good. Have a little walk up and down the aisles of the plane or the train. If you're in a car, take lots and lots of breaks if you need to, just get the blood flowing. Hydrate, and I hope you have an incredible trip wherever you're going. Lots of love. Namaste.